हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस चैप्टर इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द टाइगर रिजन सिंस वी आर वी आर गोइंग थ्रू द टॉपिक दैट इज नेचुरल रिजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो अवर टॉपिक इज इन दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द टाइगर रिजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड द टाइगर रिजन इज नॉन एज द कोल्ड टेम्परेट कॉन्टिनेंटल टाइप और द साइबरेंट टाइप सो यू हैव टू रिमोमर डैट टाइगर रिजन इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज वाट टाइगर रिजन इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज कूल टेम्परेट मीन्स वी आर टूल वी विल टॉक दैट टाइगर रिजन इज ऑल्सो नॉन एज कूल टेम्परेट कॉन्टिनेंटल टाइप और साइबरेंट टाइप ओके and since we are talking about that this lies in the temperate zone so and the reason will be in the reason will be above the reason will be above or you can say that in between the tropic uh, arctic circle in between the arctic circle in the northern hemisphere okay so if the arctic circle is lying that is 66 and half if the arctic circle is here look this is a and if the arctic circle is here that is 66 and half degree then the reason between this and the, then the reason between this you will get that is a taiga reason okay Once again, you understand that I am saying that this is our tropic of Arctic Circle. This is Arctic Circle. Then the region above this and the region below this, you will get that is what Taiga region. So this, that's why it is. And since the temperature is low, since the temperature is low, so it is known as temperate. So it is known as cool temperate. Since it is lying in the temperate region, so it comes under temperate. Since the temperature is low, so it is cool. Cool temperate now. If we are talking about the continental, means that this region will be on the land. This region we are focusing on the land. So the region taiga region is also known as a temperate continental type and also known as Siberian type. Now, this region that lies between the fifty-five to fifty-five and seventy degree in the northern hemisphere. So this region we already studied that it is in between the Arctic Circle. So the reason between the reason between between the fifty-five degree and seventy degree in the northern hemisphere, and towards the pole, it merges into the Arctic tundras of the. And now, if it this is actually the tundra region. So towards in the north, it will merge with the Arctic Circle. It will merge with the Arctic tundra of the Canada and Eurasia at around the Arctic Circle. Okay. Now, due to a strong oceanic influence, the severity of the winter and the coniferous forests are found only on the mountains, uplands of the southern Chile, no New New Zealand, Tasmania, and the South East Australia. So, we will study the map in map itself. That is what what is going to happen. So, this is the reason. Actually, this is the is the Siberia. Okay. If we talk about in Europe, that is Finland. This is the Scandinavian countries. So Finland, Norway, and the what? Norway, Finland, and hmm, Russia. That is Russia. This is Siberia, Russia. And if we talk about the North America, you will get uh, that is you will get the uh, some part of the southern Canada. Okay, Alaska region. And if we talk about the Asia, Asia will get the Siberia. Asia will get the Siberia. So we are focusing on this region. Okay. Due to the storm, now we will we'll talk about the due to the strong influence of the oceanic uh, oceanic wind, the severity of the winter and the coniferous forests are found only. Now, due to since due to it, it this region will have a strong oceanic influence. Okay, so it will have severity of winter means the temperature is very low, and you will see that coniferous forests are found here on the mountains. Okay. Now after that, we, if we we will go going to study about the climatic condition, the Siberian type of climate is experienced only in the northern hemisphere. It is very important that this Siberian type of climate is going to experience only in the northern hemisphere. It is this because this because of the narrowness of the southern country continent in the high latitude. Now because you have to remember that uh, if you talk about the southern hemisphere, if you talk about the southern hemisphere due to this less land due to It has a having less land. It is not going to. It is not, or you can say that due to narrowness of the southern continent, means it does not. In the if you talk about the southern hemisphere, it does not have. If there is countries, but the narrow of the nation is very low. So, uh, this type of climate is generally experienced in the northern hemisphere. You will see that in the north hemisphere there is a vast extent of land. But in the if you talk about the southern hemisphere, there is no any land. You can, uh, there is land, but it is very narrow. So this type of climate is generally experienced by the Siberian type of climate. Now we will study about the temperature. The Siberian type, uh, the Siberian type of climate is marked by severe winter of long duration and a cool. Now this in this is marked by the severe winter. This is already studied. This is marked by the severe winter of long duration because since it is in the since since we are talking about the Arctic Circle region, so this region does not get uh, much uh, much sunlight throughout the year. Means only you can say that only three to four months that is summer li lying. Okay, so it is written that it has a severe winter. Means in this type of grassland that is that is this type of grassland that is our that is our 
we are talking about the tiger region so this type of tiger region will have severe winter for a long duration and a cool brief summer and a cool brief summer that is lasting only 3 to 4 months heavy snowfall occurs during the winter now you have to remember that due to due to less uh, due to uh, due to decrease in temperature it, in this is going to have heavy snowfall occurs that is going to in winter frost that is occurs at an early august and by september lakes and ponds become frozen so at an early if you talk about at the early august this is going to frost and at september and october it the lakes and the pools become frozen now if we talk about the rainfall the rainfall that is varies from 25 to 100 cm the rainfall is going to vary from 25 to 100 cm it is well distributed throughout the year and it is well distributed throughout the year with a maximum in summer with a maximum in summer in winter the precipitation is in the form of snow now if you talk about the in winter that is the precipitation the precipitation will be in the form of snow that is, a, that is a mean temperature or well below the freezing point. If you talk about the mean temperature or average temperature, that is below the freezing point. Cool polar anticyclone. That is a cool polar anticyclone. This is the anticyclone that is called Plizars that is in Canada and the Burans that is in Europe and the Euro Asia blow away vast masses of snow and spread it over large area. So these are, you have to remember that this is a, these are the winds. These are responsible for the movement of for the movement or you can say that is for the movement of a snow and a spread it over a large area okay now if we talk about the natural vegetation the main vegetation of the siberian type of climate includes evergreen or evergreen coniferous forest you have to remember that the main natural vegetation is the evergreen coniferous forest and this forest are found in the continuous belt across the north america europe and asia so these forests are basically going to be found in the continuous belt across north america europe and asia means that we, we are talking about this region there is a continuous belt and the um, and the natural vegetation will get the evergreen coniferous forest and the research source of sand uh, soft wood which is used in the furniture making building constructions paper and the pulp industry so this actually this coniferous forest will provide or will become a richer source of the soft wood and which is used in the furniture making building constructions paper and the pulp industry the major trees of the coniferous forest now if you talk about the major trees are pine fir spur cedar and hemlock now if you talk about the human adaptation the taiga is especially populated now you have to remember that since the temperature is very low or since the mean temperature is below zero, below zero degrees celsius so these regions are basically especially populated here the farming does not does not constitute as an important economic activities as the land remain covered with the snow during the long cold winter season so since the land is covered with the snow so this this region is not suitable for the cultivator so only in the shelter valley only in the sheltered valley and the lands bordering the steppes comes like barley, oats, ray, potatoes and beetroots etc. So some of the areas, only these areas get cultivated. Okay. Thank you.